All right, so that's uh, section 8.2. We're going to look at uh, the end of a significance test and how we make our decisions. Uh, so again, a lot of writing in this section, more so than doing. Okay, next section is the first doing section. So uh, it says, note, sometimes we may want to compare a p-value to something other than 0.05. So in the last section, right, to um, decide if the p-value was large or small, we compared it to 0.05. In chapter 6 and before then, remember, 5% was our magic percentage. In chapter 7, 95% was our most common confidence interval. However, right, we did do 90% confidence intervals. We did 99% confidence intervals. So sometimes we do want to change that level. So in significance uh, test talk, we have what's called the significance level, and this is alpha. Alpha is like a fish. It's a Greek symbol, right? Alpha. It is the value that we use as a cutoff to decide if an observed value or observed result is unlikely to happen by chance alone when the null is true. Okay? All right. So again, it's that cutoff. Note, when a p-value is less than the significance level, we say that the result is statistically significant at the alpha equals blank value, okay, or level. So again, we do have to make sure that we talk about that because, uh, because again, that number could be, you know, could be 0.1, could be 0.01. So you have to tell the reader what your level was. All right, so how do we make a conclusion? So again, we did this in the last section, but we used large or small. Now we're going to use alpha. So if your p-value is less than alpha, right, option one, this is when you reject the null because you have found convincing evidence for the alternative, right? Rare, right? This alternative situation we think could be true, it happened, but it doesn't happen often by chance. It's rare. It means something versus if your p-value is greater than or equal to alpha, right, second situation, then we fail to reject the null. It's too common. It can just happen by chance. There's not convincing evidence for the alternative. It can just happen, okay? And again, down here, notice that alpha should be stated prior to, prior to the uh, data being produced, okay? So you don't want to adjust your alpha value to, to match your results, all right? So again, very important making conclusions and how we do that based off the alpha value. All right, example one, do the company's new batteries last longer? A company has developed a new deluxe AAA battery that is supposed to last longer than its regular AAA battery. However, these new batteries are more expensive to produce, so the company would like to be convinced that they really do last longer. Based on years of experience, the company knows that it's in regular... AAA batteries last for 30 hours of continuous use on average. The company selects an SRS of 15 new batteries and uses them continuously until they are completely drained. The sample mean lifetime is X bar equals 39.9 hours. A significant test is performed using the hypothesis, the null hypothesis that the average is equal to 30 hours versus the alternative where we think the average might be greater than 30 hours, where mu is the true mean lifetime in hours of the new deluxe AAA batteries. The resulting p-value is 0 0.0729. What conclusion would you make for each of the following significance levels? So our first level is alpha equals 0 0.10. So we're first going to compare the p-value to the alpha value. So we're going to say p-value of 0 0.0729 is less than 0 0.10. So because it's less than the alpha value, we reject the null. So we reject H sub zero, the null. This means there is convincing evidence there is convincing evidence that and now I'm just going to restate this in words, right? And the words are here, and the words are here. So there is convincing evidence that the true mean lifetime, now I'm not going to put hours because I'll label my answer in hours, of the new deluxe, that's, that's deluxe, triple A, Batteries, geez, oh, Pete, I can't 
my brain's not working around right AAA batteries, is greater than or is more than I'll put greater than, is greater than, sorry, it doesn't really matter, is greater than 30 hours. There we go. So that's our first conclusion based off an alpha value of 0 0.10. Okay, now the nice thing about typing is that you can copy and paste. So you'll see that the next answer is very similar all right, so let's go there. I unfortunately have to write it, right? Okay, so same problem. So now the alpha value is 0.05. So now, so now our p-value, and again, I hope you can see how you can just copy paste it, our p-value of 0 0.0729, which did not change, by the way. Now it's greater than the alpha value of 0 0.05. So we fail to reject the null. And if we fail to reject the null, that means there is not, there is not convincing evidence. And again, I'm just going to restate what this means. There is not convincing evidence that the true mean lifetime of the new Deluxe triple A batteries is greater than 30 hours. Okay, so this time because our p value was more than alpha, that means that this is too likely to happen by chance. So we can't reject the null. Uh, and that's because we did not find convincing evidence. Okay. Again, use that copy and paste feature to your benefit. All right, objective one's done. Objective two is coming.